Good morning, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Cameron. Welcome to my kitchen here in Thailand. And today we are going to be talking about veggie noodles. So I'm super excited. This will just be a quick and easy tutorial. We're not uh, cooking or preparing a meal so much today. We're just gonna be doing a little bit of food education, uh, 101 on how to do different veggie noodles. Um, so doing veggie noodles is a great alternative to regular pasta. It's gluten free, it's uh, you're very nutritious, you're getting the vitamins and minerals within whichever vegetable you're using. It's super versatile, um, you can add whatever sauces that you want uh, into your veggie noodles and that will spice it up with different flavors. So it's really easy. Um, and yeah, you can do really different variations and get creative with it. Uh, you can add different vegetables together for different types of noodles uh, for a colorful dish. And yeah, it's really good, super tasty, and takes just like five minutes to make your pasta. So it's even uh, less work than regular pasta. Um, and I do want to mention, sometimes I do like to use um, different types of veggie, like pre-made pasta, so it's a bit processed, so definitely not um, like something to always turn to, but it is great, and especially as you're transitioning into a healthier lifestyle, it's definitely something to reach for instead of wheat pasta. So here is an organic fava bean pasta, and also I love the chickpea pasta, and it takes uh, just like five minutes to cook. So putting it in the boiling water and then taking it out, it cooks quite fast, um, but it's really good and again, super versatile and tasty. So here we have the organic fava bean pasta and also recommend chickpea pasta and just always reading ingredients, making sure that it's whole foods uh, within the prepackaged pasta. But what you don't need an ingredient label on because it's just super fresh, but trying to, of course, always choose organic and local is your fresh produce for your veggie noodles. So the three main ones that I like to turn to are carrot, cucumber, and zucchini. Um, let's see, carrot is really nice. Uh, it's got the little bit of sweetness and holds up good as pasta. Cucumber noodles, I really love. Um, super healthy, watery, super fresh, so really nice with a pesto. Uh, I've posted an avocado pesto recipe with cucumber noodles and the avocado pesto you can find here on my IGTV channel. Again, it's like a five minute dip. You can um, make really quick, super tasty, and throw together with your noodles. Um, this, the cucumber noodles don't store so well, they're best served fresh, otherwise the water starts to release out of the noodles, um, so just be cautious about this. And zucchini noodles, really nice as well, and those again release a bit of water, but I think a bit less than the cucumber. Um, so maybe store a little bit better, but with veggie noodles, I really recommend uh, that you're eating them fresh or storing one day in the fridge and definitely recommend buying your own because you'll notice it's really fresh and store-bought versions, how long are they sitting in the fridge and you'll notice when you make your own veggie noodles that really it's best to eat them fresh. Um, that they don't store so well. So it makes you kind of wonder how the ones in the store, if you buy your noodles pre-cut, um, how they are lasting so well. So just something to think about. Um, and yeah, here we'll make our noodles. I also have a red pepper out here, um, just because this I like to slice really thin and you can add in with your veggie noodles. Again, it gives good flavor. So um, just, yeah, slicing really thin, um, that's kind of self-explanatory, but the thinner the better, and then it's, um, yeah, then you've got some red pepper veggie noodles to throw into your colorful mix. All right, so let's 
make some veggie noodles. Let's talk about our tools. And also as we go, um, make sure to leave any comments or um, leave some questions. Feel free to chime in as we go. Um, I'm always happy to hear from you. So uh, let me know, leave a comment, uh, comment on my posts, or uh, send me a DM with any questions. I'm happy to respond. Um, okay, and so our two tools for veggie noodles. We've got a spiralizer and we've got a ridged vegetable peeler. This one actually comes with both. Um, but for noodles, um, I recommend getting a spiralizer. There's also countertop versions where you put it in. I've actually never had one of these. Um, I've always had the handheld ones. It's cheap, it's easy, and it works well. So. Um, I can recommend this. You can find, if you're in Asia here, in Thailand, you can find on the Zada. Otherwise, um, Amazon, I'm sure you, you can easily find these and I often link them. Um, uh, I have an affiliate link on the website so you can find as well Spiralizer. Um, and when making noodles, there's two sides to it. You've got smaller blades and bigger blades. I often opt for the bigger blades. Um, so here our spiralizer and our ridged vegetable peeler and both of those work really nicely for making vegetables so again and you can also find one of these super super cheap at almost any store or um, dollar shop or um, kitchenware store you can find one super easy so then you will have veggie noodles. So I will demo how to make some of these veggie noodles and then it's up to you to get creative and um, yeah, think about your different sauces. I've mentioned the avocado pesto and you can find the recipe on the IGTV channel. Um, I have a delicious papaya sauce. It's like a tomato sauce but made from papaya that's definitely worth trying. It goes well um, with veggie noodles. You can add in different pestos. Um, you can make a tomato sauce. However you enjoy your normal pasta, you could maybe just even do olive oil, salt, pepper, lemon juice, and add in some fresh veggies, um, maybe some onion, olive, make it like Greek style, some peppers, um, some vegan feta, whatever you want. So again, get creative, and wherever you would use normal pasta, you can always use your veggie pasta, or as I've mentioned, um, if you're buying some packaged or processed ones, uh, going with a bean or chickpea type of brand. So we'll start with the zucchini. And here I will demonstrate with the spiralizer. So I just chopped the end. Sometimes zucchini you want, the thinner the better. We'll see how this one starts um, going, but the shape will fit better with the spiralizer. So let's see. Here you just put it in and begin to twist and you'll begin to see the noodles coming out this side which you will put into your bowl and the seeds will start to come out from this side. So as you can see, we're getting some amazing noodles. <laughs> and they'll split here. So here we have some zucchini noodles and they'll just keep coming out super long so sometimes it's even nice in your dishes to, you'll need to cut them or sometimes you'll notice that if it's not spinning or set quite right you'll get smaller noodles. So again just playing around here, um, I'm not going to do the whole thing um, since we're not going to be making a dish right away this morning just demonstrating some veggie noodle uh, 101 education here. Um, but here you can see super easy and we're getting amazing zucchini noodles. <laughs> They're super delicious. Um, Alright, next let's look at the difference a little bit with our cucumber. Um, here again you can put in the spiralizer going on the big side. You see the noodles starting to come out. So here they're a little bit more watery, a little bit um, thinner, but again, really delicious. 
And I'm going to show you with the cucumber as well. Here we're kind of getting our zucchini noodles a bit thicker even um, on when it's without the flesh. Cucumber noodles a little bit more watery and ones without the skin getting um, a little more thin. So also with cucumber noodles and carrots as well and zucchini, any noodles, <laughs> you can use the ridged vegetable peeler. So here I will just demonstrate starting at the top, coming down. Sometimes you start to get bigger slices like this where it doesn't actually separate. Maybe it depends on the quality of your um, vegetable peeler, but you can easily take a knife and just run on the ridges of some of these and then um, peel it off so you're getting the individual noodles. Um, but as you work your way around, I recommend going like four or five times over one space. Then you see you're starting to get more regular type noodles. So doing four or five on like a flat surface, turning the vegetable a little bit, and then again doing about four or five rounds or until you hit the seeds. And then you're, see, you're creating these flat surfaces around as you vegetable peel. So again, turning it on the third edge, doing about four or five, um, or until you're hitting those center seeds and it's not noodling as well. And then again on the last surface. So working your way around and as you go, you will start to make your veggie noodles. So again, you can kind of see here, some of them with the vegetable peeler get attached like this, but just picking them apart like so easy. Especially if you're making a pasta dish, throwing it together just for yourself. This is really good in a meditative, mindful practice as you make your noodles, giving them lots of love, just cutting them how you want, taking the time to separate them. Um, super easy and you're just connecting here with your food and offering a little bit of mindfulness and making it nice for yourself or if you're making for you and a friend or a partner, um, it doesn't take too much time. Um, with that being said, I can talk about serving size for noodles. Uh, I normally do about one and a half, two zucchini per serving per person. Um, similar with cucumber noodles or carrots as well, but one and a half kind of creates like the pasta portion that you're looking for, one and a half or two. And again, it will depend on the size of your um, vegetable, but when buying or purchasing, always opt for a little bit more. Um, so maybe calculate two per person and then maybe you have leftovers or as you're making it, then you can judge and see about the portions and just kind of, of course, stop whenever you feel like there's enough or serve leftovers, um, keep them packaged to go, maybe store separately from your sauce and to have a healthy packed lunch for next day. So all kinds of tips and tricks for um, healthy lifestyle and meal prep and uh, healthy dishes So and no food waste, compost, <laughs> keeping it real people. Okay, next we'll demonstrate our carrot. Again, you can do this both with your spiralizer, we'll see here our noodles starting to form. Here you can see a little bit of smaller noodles. So you just turn in and twist. Here you can see this would even go great on top of salads. You can do your um, veggies like this instead of grated carrot you could even do a nice little serving of carrot noodles they come out a little they come out a little bit smaller you can see here um, a little more fragile but still really nice and look really good you if you put like this with the sauce you wouldn't even notice um, you can also as well do the vegetable peeler 
So this veg the ridge vegetable peeler going several times over the flat surface towards the center, turning, turning to the next edge again, same thing. And this method works really well for the carrot. Even here we have just our half carrot because we just spiralized some, but if you had a full carrot, these would be even longer. So again, you can see the difference here of our noodles. Again, there's some stuck together. But for the most part, carrots are really good like this. I like the vegetable peeler with the carrots. Let's see here. You can kind of see a difference with the two variations. So this was the spiralizer, if you can see. Well, <laughs> spiralizer, they're kind of small, smaller noodles. And here we have the ridged vegetable peeler. Some a little bit stuck together, but in the longer form. And that's with the carrots. All right, so we've done our carrot noodles, our cucumber noodles, and our zucchini noodles. We've almost got here our bowl of pasta. So as you can see, it takes just Maybe it would take five minutes or so to prepare your vegetable noodles. Um, here we've done some talking, so a little bit more. But if you're just sitting here spiralizing your two zucchini, it'll take you three minutes to have your bowl of pasta. Toss it with your fresh sauce, uh, and you can enjoy a nice pasta salad. It's veggie-based, it's raw, it's vegan, it's gluten-free. It's got so much uh, nutrients, vitamins, minerals, everything packed in there um, for you to enjoy your healthy dish. Um, and it's super filling, you'll notice this as well. You'll get super full, um, which is also a nice side benefit. So, uh, especially when you're eating with a nice sauce, um, and other veggies in your pasta. Uh, it's really a delicious and filling plant-based meal. So we've done our zucchini noodles, carrot noodles, and cucumber noodles. Um, we've experimented this morning with our spiralizer. Again, you can find a link on my website um, under, if you click recipes, you'll be directed to um, a page of what's inside my kitchen. So you can check that out and find a link on Amazon, um, as well as a ridged vegetable peeler. So we've got our two different types of making noodles, and as well, you can just simply use a knife, especially for, um, for the red pepper and just slicing really thin. Um, you can also experiment with using vegetable peeler on the outside of the, um, of the red pepper. Ah, one more trick for different type of noodles. Okay, so yeah, this one's fun. Sorry, I almost forgot. Okay, so you can use the ridge vegetable peeler for your vegetables like this, for your string noodles, but you can also, we'll do here on the carrot, use a flat surface to make ribbon noodles, so like a thicker type of noodle. And this works really nice as well to make thin, large noodles. Ah, I almost forgot. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so yes, this is also really nice to make thicker type of noodles. Um, and you can use this, again, same way with your pasta dishes. Um, also, you can do this with your zucchini and make zucchini roll-up noodles. You can put your, um, like, a cashew cheese or a sauce. I have a recipe like this on my blog, but line it on the noodles and then begin to roll it up. And then you have little, like, pasta lasagna rolls. So I have an amazing recipe like this on the blog. It's zucchini noodles, um, large strip with cashew cheese put inside a papaya sauce, and it is amazing. Um, 
So this is an option as well to do your thick noodles with a flat vegetable peeler. Um, and if you're wanting lasagna noodles, like to make a thick lasagna, I've also got an amazing raw recipe on the blog, check it out. Um, but you can, I often like to work with zucchini with this, but then you can use a knife or if you have a mandolin, something where you um, take the zucchini or vegetable and grate it and it cuts it to a specific um, measurement then you have uh, lasagna noodles so cutting them a little bit thick you can also use the knife um, and just making measurements so it will be thicker than using a regular um, vegetable noodles where you use the peeler it will be a bit thicker but this is really good for lasagna and then you can uh, lay it flat or have more of a sturdy noodle. So, okay, now this time for real, I think this is all my veggie uh, tips and tricks with the spiralizer, the ridged and the flat side of the vegetable peeler. You can get super creative here. As you can see, there's endless options. Um, you've got all your different veggie noodles, You've got some wide, thicker vegetable noodles, um, and you can do lasagna noodles using the knife and making just like a four to centimeter thick pieces um, and just gently doing that along the zucchini, cutting very thin slices. <sighs> and of course, if you're buying packaged, buy organic, buy chickpea noodles, gonna try out these fava bean noodles. I think there's also like pea noodles and all kinds of things. So always just read the ingredients on your packages and um, be experimental, kind of explore. And just because you don't like one doesn't mean you won't like the other. Um, or maybe it's just an acquired taste. So choose healthy, choose happy. Keep eating, uh, keep experimenting. Your watches, your taste buds change. And the more mindfulness you bring into what you're eating and how you're preparing it and infusing it with your energy and love as you go, then you will notice a difference um, in how you will consume it because you will be consuming it with more mindfulness and appreciation and gratitude for all your efforts into um, how you prepared it and you'll be eating that same energy and raising your vibration So root to rise starting with our food so we can um, rise our health rise our vibration um, Rise the love we give back to ourselves in the world So thank you everybody so much for joining make sure to subscribe to my website root to rise online the link is in my profile bio um, you will receive receive uh, two emails a month full of new recipes and holistic health hacks, um, ways to uh, look at your health through mind, body, and spirit, uh, creating a holistic uh, approach to health, not just uh, trying to treat symptoms, but looking at root causes here and things as a whole picture, as an ecosystem uh, to create health. This is sustainable and long-term transformation in health. So uh, make sure to subscribe to the newsletter. Our next one is coming out this Monday. So you will receive uh, new recipes, the holistic health t tips, uh, playlists, and music to meet your moods. You'll have discounts and uh, the live demo schedule. So you'll see what we're cooking uh, next and what dishes. And uh, yeah, I hope you will join the Root to Rise tribe. It's free and uh, you're only investing in your health and happiness. And so thank you so much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed our Veggie Noodle 101 demonstration. Uh, we've had lots of fun this morning. So uh, I hope to see everybody soon, wherever you are in the world. Um, have a beautiful day or evening. Namaste, friends.